Hello, my name is James Hanna, and today I'm going to introduce you to the world of me. First, I'll be illustrating various information through um, small subjects and stories. I'll show you where I came from and how I grew up. And secondly, I will introduce an object that shows a value that I hold highly in myself. So, to start off, my name is James, or Hanna, as uh, my co-workers call me. I was born in Germany, my mother's a German national, and my dad uh, was in the army. Uh, after his contract expired, they came back to the U.S., brought me with. Um, currently, he's been working at a steel mill for about 35 plus years, and she is a photographer, uh, amateur, but she is making uh, some good photos for the local paper. Uh, but enough about them, I'm an only child, so I'm gonna be a little bit selfish and uh, take it over. I've had various hobbies, ranging from model, uh, model model building, uh, small planes and tanks. I have um, really enjoyed the hobbies of uh, being a motorcycle owner and getting to ride, uh, getting to meet up with people. I have also um, done a lot of fishing, hunting, uh, swimming. Uh, one hobby I kind of uh, love and hate would be uh, remote control airplanes. Um, caused about $600 in damage to them and decided that it wasn't for me and the experts should probably take over at that point. I grew up in the backwoods of Florida. Uh, that's where we moved after Germany. My dad went to school. Shortly thereafter, he graduated and we moved up to Indiana where the rest of my family lived. My family was a very big important part. Me and my cousins would hang out all the time. The two of us were only children, so it was quite nice having a strong bond with family. I lived on the outskirts. There weren't many kids out there, so the greatest day I had was the day I got my first mountain bike and I could ride into town. Um, when I could ride into town, I could visit family. I could visit all the friends that I've made in school. And it wasn't until I got my driver's license, that other uh, piece of freedom, that I get to feel like a rebel and drive around and listen to music as loud as I want. Um, it was pretty fun until I rocked into the side of a van. And, uh, my driver's license got revoked by my parents until I learned. And I learned very fast that line about the situation to don't make anything better at all. Along with the license came high school. I played football, I was a cornerback. I was in this, uh, the chess club, and I did speech and debate for about three years. Somehow I could formulate speeches and um, impress people, use words that no one kids didn't use, I could win trophies, and now it's to the point where I get in front of people with words and I just, I, I lock up, I don't know what to do. Uh, so I'm hoping that, uh, that I will be able to let that go a little bit. Uh, after high school, I decided that I was going to become a mechanical engineer. And I think that's because I saw that they made six figures and got myself thinking, I can make six figures, I can be a mechanical engineer. Um, I wasn't prepared at all for it. and. I decided to withdraw, save face, and save all the bills I'd have to pay if I'd failed all those classes. Um, so I enlisted in the military. I've been doing it for about eight years now, staff sergeant, and I am the aerospace propulsion or jet engine mechanics. I've been stationed in uh, uh, Missouri, England, and now South Dakota. While I was stationed in Missouri, I met my wife. We dated for about a year and a half and decided to get married. Shortly thereafter, I got orders to England with those orders. Uh, were, uh, those orders were special because she had never left the country before. I don't believe she had even, no, no, that was her second flight. She had taken a flight with me previously. Uh, after being in for England for a little while, we had our first kid, Levi, he's three, and he's copying me any way he can. Uh, now, we're stationed in South Dakota, and we've had my daughter, um, sadly though, about two weeks after having my daughter, I was deployed. So now I watch her grow up through uh, social media and pictures and wherever else my wife can send me. Which leads me to my second point, something of value that I hold. And I would honestly say it is by phone. Not because of the apps or the movies, but because of the fact that the camera on the front of it and the back allows me to be a part of their lives, to see my son grow up, see my daughter grow up, to see what they're doing, and he gets to show me everything that's going on. But, um, 
but it, it, it's really nice to be able to have that kind of technology. Uh, you know, being deployed, don't get many things. Um, you know, you, your normal life, your family, the um, the normal clean smelling bathroom, you, you don't always get that, but uh, at least with this, I, family means a lot to me. We always stay interconnected no matter where we are. Somebody will always find a way to get a hold of you through email or even just regular pen and paper mail. And, and family, is, is, it's great value to me, it really is. And being able to see my son and him see me, and we get to play around and joke and hide from mom under the covers, it, 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 it warms me up, it really does. Uh, my daughter kind of just stares at me, she has no idea what's going on. But now comes the time to finish the speech. I hope I've done well enough to convey some points across to you about who I am, where I came from. I look forward to being in this class for video, you, and I hope you enjoyed my object that I get to have, and uh, shows you that I really like staying connected to my family. Thank you very much.